Hello, I'm Benson and welcome to my channel where I'm always looking for interesting gadget to show you guys. Today I'm going to show you this Canon camera. Now this one was sent to me by Amazon, not by Canon, to review. And this one is the EOS R50 Creator Kit. What it means is it comes with a few extra gadgets than your standard standalone camera. So you come with the R50 compact camera, 18 to 45 lens, the uh, microphone that goes on top, as well as the little tripod with a trigger. So as the name suggests, this is for content creator who make a lot of video to post online to share with uh, the audience. Um, I have been using the uh, EOS R, which is right now the camera over there. But this one here you can get for 899 pounds in the UK, about the same in dollars I guess in America but I'll put the link in the description so you can see a bit more my video is not a tutorial I'm not going to show you what you should do with your camera there's plenty of video showing you techniques and you know specification of the camera this is purely my experience of open box and you know as a first time uh, user of this product so you can see what your money can buy my video is not scripted if you find my information useful don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel any particular test you want me to do after you watch the video or you have questions, put it in the put down in the comments and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. For anyone who is looking into creating online content, I can tell you that this is one of the best kit that you can buy at the moment on the internet. Not only it came with all the accessories that I told you before, it even come with the 32 gigabyte SD card. So inside the box, you got your main camera. It also come with the DME 100. So this is the uh, microphone, which goes on top of the camera or on the boom. Got the HG 100T BR. So this is the little tripod with the remote control built in. And that gives you the empty box. Thick information leaflet for the tripod mount. You've got a little detachable remote control. I don't know how to describe it, but there's something about the ergonomics of this uh, mount. It feels just right in my hand. Now I've got big hands and holding this just feel comfortable. So that's the remote control. It's already flashing so I know that there is power. So to release the legs open. And then that becomes a little tripod stand. The DME100, let's open the box. So you've got your dead cat, instruction booklet, and you've got your little microphone. I think the base is metal. The microphone itself is metal and is mounted on a rubberized mount to re reduce the amount of like, you know, um, the vibration or the shock. And then you've got your dead cat, the windshield. It does muffle, I mean, it does um, reduce the volume a bit, but I don't want to keep looking for it when I have to go outside. In the studio, it's not so important, but when you go out in the wind, it's very important to have one of these. To have any usable kind of a sound from outside. So finally, let's open the box of camera. And it has the RFS lens 18 to 45 mil. So my lens on the ESOR is a EFS lens 10 to 18. The reason why I have a 10 to 18 is because I don't have much distance between the camera and myself. Literally, I'm arm's length away. This is already pointing to almost to the glass of the lens. And um, a normal lens is just not wide, wide enough because it is a uh, EOS R do cropped with the 4K. So it will be interesting to see if I swap lens, what, what will it looks like. Both of these are budget lens, so I don't use expensive lens. She got a 32 gigabyte. So this is a U3 speed, um, 32 gigabyte SD card. It's very nice that they come with this. Ideally, everything I need to start recording is already in the box. That's the idea of the content creator kit. You got your thick instruction booklet. And then here is your Canon charger. This one plug into your wall socket with the lead strap. So you got your strap for your camera. This is the power cable to the charger. I'm in the UK, so I've got a three pin plug, a nice length of cable. And in here is the camera itself. And look at this, 
This is tiny compared to the size of my hand. On the top we say EOS R50 and you got a nice dial on top right here. I am a Canon fan so I might be a bit biased right here but the build quality of this one is pretty amazing. I mean I know this is 2023 but you know the amount of tech that you can buy with your money is amazing. It does feel a bit plasticky compared to, you know, the EOS R or the higher end, but to be honest with you, you want it to be lightweight. And there's nothing wrong with plastic body nowadays. It does have a pop-up flash, which I never use. Off one button on the top, the ring, buttons, everything feels Everything feels like how a Canon should be, and I do like the little design on the flap here. It's a Canon, and you lift this out, and you get a nice screen here. On the side here, you've got a microphone inlet, which is very important if you are a content creator like myself. That's why it comes with the mic that you can put plug into on this side. And on the other side, under the plastic gasket, you have a HDMI out and also your USB-C connector. Underneath is where you keep the battery. And there is no battery inside at the moment, so we're going to have a look. Okay, a quarter inch tripod mount underneath here. Everything how a camera is supposed to be. At the moment, there's no lens. So let you see the APS-C size sensor right there. I'm going to close it because I don't like dust getting into it. Let's see how heavy this is. 348 gram, and this is without anything um, on the camera right now. It comes with one Canon battery. This is the LPE17 battery. Smaller than the um, DSLR type of battery. So that goes in here. On the other side of the black box, you get your lens. Oh, check this out. This is tiny. 18 to 45. And this is the lens which comes with the kit. 18 to 45. Okay, let's, um, let's mount it. And let's play around with it a bit. I don't know if you guys can, can see this, but you know, from a person who loves camera, I look at this, it looks like a toy. The lens is only like the little middle part of the opening, but it does feel solid. Everything feels incredibly well built. 49mm uh, front, you can put a lens, like a um, UV lens at least, to cover it. The screen is a flippy screen, so you can come out, you can rotate it. Oh, the mic is in the way. I can see a little problem there already. So if I do plug in the mic, it might be in the way of the screen if you are facing front. Not that it matters. Let's switch it on and see. Let's switch it on. Okay, the display, the display is nice and clean. I do like it. It's a touch screen, you just need to set it up. Okay, so once you um, set the time, it will tell you to set the lens to the shooting position because at the moment the lens is retracted. So let's turn this. As soon as it clicks, it goes into your normal shooting mode. The screen is really nice, even better than my EOS R. I know my EOS R is quite old already. That goes into a power saving mode. Focusing, you can touch focus. No card in camera, of course. And there is no battery as well, so let's not mess around with that right now. Let's see, uh, give it if it charge from USB. Green light is on, but I don't know if this is charging or not. 
there's no display on top or side to tell you that it's actually charging so we don't know but the green light is on and this is a um, quick charge compatible so it should charge anyway so before we can do anything so let's um, mount the microphone it has a little protector for the horseshoe that you have to take out before you can install your uh, microphone the microphone should just slide right in and twist down the Okay, let's clamp down. Let's do the mic. Let's insert the mic. Flip the screen, top. Okay, so with the microphone plugged in, you can't really turn to have the screen pointing downwards. Well, it shouldn't. Well, it wouldn't point downwards anyway. But it does add a bit of inconvenience when the microphone is on the side. Okay, let's put in the media card and um, have some fun with this camera. Right, so we have the EOS R on one side and then we have the EOS R50 on the other. Exactly the same distance, kind of the same angle. They are kind of slightly off-sided. But um, yeah, this is the image quality of both uh, camera on auto. So I am not going to change any setting for now, for the first few weeks when I run through my uh, camera operations, I'm just going to stick to auto. The audio for the EOS R is from the lav mic, which I have on here wirelessly. The EOS um, R50 at the moment is with the, um, with the kit, um, with the microphone which comes with the camera. I don't know if you can see any difference and I certainly won't know the difference until I get to my computer. Now lens wide both of them is on the widest setting and um, like I say this is kind of like hand reaching level to the lens and on the R50 is on 80 millimeter and on the EOS R is on 10 millimeter focal length. So this is the widest setting of that now because the EOS R has a crop sensor and that's why um, the and that's why the lens is um, a bit close up to the person. Both of them focusing on my eye right now and I can see that the bracket is on my eye. Uh, what I'm going to do now is going to switch the lens over and see the wide wider angle lens on the R50. Now it's a very different feel. The 10 the 10 to 18 mm lens on the R50 now gives you a, such a wide angle until it's almost like a fish eye, and you can see that you know this is still kind of like you know touching distance to the lens. Whereas the EOS R now has the 18 mm on that, now it become a lot closer because of the crop sensor on the 4K. So, so that means that you know. It's just, just the look, look of it, to be honest with you, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might get another 10 to 18 mil so that both cameras have the same lens, but I'm going to play around with it for now. So this is using the 10 to 18 mil EFS lens. This one do have stabilizer and automatic focus. And this is on auto, so I'm not actually changing anything using the EOS R50. Now that's the older brother, the EOS R. You can see the lens, kit lens on there right now. Let's zoom in a little bit. So that's the 18 mil. Focal length. So there's a lot more to learn about this camera. Obviously, I only got it today and I want to show you guys what you get for your money. But in the next couple of weeks, then I will start to use this camera a lot more. And maybe, maybe, and maybe, just maybe it will take over from the EOS R so that that big brother can retire. Thank you very much for watching. Can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadget. Bye bye.